but we do it. So what we, the other thing I try and do is I try and get a guest to come in who works well in this situation because not all great players are great clinicians and some uh, very few, well, I've never had that. I actually research it. I call people to ask them who have you had, who works and who doesn't because um, you have somebody bad at your festival. It could destroy your program for a year and a half. You have somebody good. We had Oliver Nelson Jr. Holy smokes. They were lining up for his autograph after his clinic. He didn't even play. He played one tune for about four minutes. He talked for like 40 minutes. Everybody wanted to hug him. We started late because the whole band, they were all in a line to, to, to talk to him. We've had Clark Terry, who we gave an honorary doctorate to. Had Maynard, gave Maynard an honorary doctorate. We've had Thad Jones, Byron Stripley, Mike Tamaro, uh, Eric Alexander. Uh, oh, man, I'm going to forget a Randy Brown. Mike Davis. Too. What's that? Mike Davis, too. Mike Davis. Oh, Mike Davis. Yeah, Mike Davis. Uh, the uh, I had the list somewhere, but then, you know, um, we had uh, – uh, Rabbi George Rabbi, he did it. Uh, and then we've had like Joe Farrell. We had Thad Jones and Mel Band like way, way back. Um, we had, uh, oh, just like a lot of the people who you know would, would be good. We, I had Je uh, Jeff Coffin come in. That wasn't the festival. He came in to talk to the students. We have a, anybody that comes in anymore, I have to run a campaign like at least two weeks ahead of time to teach the students who the person is because a lot of them don't, they don't know who Rufus is. They just don't know. So how, why would they? Why would they, right. to the students who don't know, why would they know Rufus? Well, I Rufus. So what I do is I, I have all my kids on the mailing list and I look through YouTube. I tell them stories about Rufus, who Rufus played with. And then I find some excellent YouTube clips and I mail it to the band. I just keep mailing them out and say, guys, check it out. Just have it on. Don't go analyzing it. Don't write a report. Just have it on and look at it. This is coming in because Rufus is known as like the real rock. If you had to, you had that pick 10 bass players that everybody loves to play with rufus is like in the top half of that list he's with played behind dave liebman he played behind uh he played behind dexter he was dexter's road manager and he's got all these great stories plus i've worked with with rufus at jamie abersold camps i did those for 15 years and rufus and i have worked other camps where we play like duos together we'll probably do a duo thing at the concert he lives in north jersey which means if I flew somebody in and we had to cancel because of COVID, I wouldn't have to eat the ticket, you know, and Rufus is a great guy. He's just like a, he's a sweet guy. And if you met him, you just want to give him a hug and say, man, let's eat something. And it's just a great <laughs> hang. It's fun hang. You just don't know. You're, you're just hanging with one of the living legends of the upright bass and jazz that he's on every, he, there isn't anybody he hasn't played with. So Rufus is going to be our guest. And in the middle of the day, for those that, has, that haven't been at the festival, the middle of the day between 11.45 and 12.45, we do a clinic and we do some type of clinic that is a clinic that answers to every, every player. We don't do like a drum specific clinic. We don't do a saxophone specific clinic. I thought I would like to do that, but honestly, I can't get the rooms to do these, to do more than one breakout room because when Rowan does their jazz festival, I take over the space and everybody's classes that would run in these rooms, they're still running. They just find a different room for them to be in. So orchestra could be like down in some little room somewhere because when I do my thing, everybody takes a back seat so I can have the stage. When Joe Higgins, our concert band director, when he does his thing, he gets it. I go into a smaller room. When it's an orchestra festival, Janan Chen, who's our conductor, she's, um, she gets the main stage and we all move. So we all share and support each other doing their own thing. Uh, so that's why I have to do everything in the two rooms I have. And I don't have the room or space to, to just go and, and just grab everything. So we do a clinic. And the reason I do it at the top of the hour is here. Let me see. How are you looking at me? Wait a minute. Is this the left or right? How are you looking at it? You're this doing great. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing, is this, is this down? Or up. What am I doing? So if the day starts here, bands start to come in, and the bands for the afternoon, they're here usually around this time. Here's the clinic time, then here's the rest of the day. So what happens is the guys that come early stay long enough to do the clinic. The guys that come later come early enough to catch the clinic. So at the middle of that time and that 12 o'clock spot is when we have most, mostly everybody here, uh, depending on the buses. So that's why we do the clinic, because that's when we have everyone. And the people that came in the morning usually take off. And I say, well, they could stay. It's free day for anybody who wants to come and look 
at the check out the bands. However, during COVID, you have to take the test and all that business if you come in. But the festival's fun. And then what happens on Friday night, the last day, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday night, we do our concert. So the Friday night concert is uh, like a separate entity. The, the main educational part of the festival is daytime. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Friday night is our concert. And that's the Rowan Jazz Band with Rufus. Mm. And, uh, and then that's it. And uh, uh, But by then, the students, here's what I'll do. I'm really working to introduce my students about how great Rufus is. And to them, it's just Denny talking. He sends videos, he's talking. And I know how this works because I've done it before. It's just Denny. So here goes Denny. He's talking. Oh, Denny's talking. Oh, when is this guy going to shut up? Boom, he's talking. Boom, Rufus shows up. They're like, uh-oh, this is the guy Denny's talking about. I, I have their attention. Then they get to meet him. And Rufus is, because Wednesday night, we rehearse with him. And Rufus is a real, they're going to love him. Like they love Oliver Nelson because he's a great guy. And he's going to look, he's going to be complimenting. I know how Rufus is. I'm real careful about who I bring in. You know, most people now know how to do this thing, but there's some people that um, they don't know how to do festivals, but there's some people who I would love to get. This isn't their thing. They'd rather play. And that's great too. And uh, that's for another thing, but they're going to find out on Wednesday, Hey, Rufus is really cool. Then they're going to come around on Thursday and they're going to say, Oh, is Rufus around? I'm gonna, hey, Rufus, how you doing? He's gonna, he's gonna say hi, blah, blah. Friday's gonna come, they're gonna be psyched. We'll do our concert Friday night. They're gonna be like, oh my God, this is great. And then it's over. Yeah. Then they'll be talking about how cool Rufus was. And for me, that took six months, you know? And, and the, but that's what the gig is. And I'm okay with it if there's a payoff. If they're interested and they like it, the bass player students, they're going to go nuts. We're going to do two trio tunes. So the two piano players are going to play, like one guy's going to play with Rufus, the other guy's going to play with Rufus in the trio. I sent them I sent them the clips and I sent it to the drummer. I said, get a new head on that snare drum. Get a rough Remo head so the brushes are loud. Because when you play behind bass, don't have your head real smooth and it's silent. You need to hear the... So you need a head that is grainy. So I said, get a new head on that snare. You're going to want it. And I sent uh, Victor Lewis playing with Rufus and he looked at him because, oh, man, I got to get a good head. I said, that's right. So hopefully if everybody does what they're supposed to and they play with Rufus, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to, uh, it'll be a great thing. And that's what teaching, I think, is. This is, I get their attention. This is it. And if they love it, then we're able to point them. I, and I think that with Rufus, uh, you know, the students really don't understand how heavy somebody is. I said, come up with your tunes. Know what tunes you're going to do. Pick a tune that you can play if you're rolling down a hill, if you're falling downstairs and trash cans are falling on you and you won't mess it up, pick a tune you completely know. And he says, well, you think Rufus will be okay with body and soul? And I said, there's going to come a time when you're going to think, why did I, how could I ask that? And I said, you're going to feel, I said, you're going to feel real bad about it. You're going to feel like really stupid asking that question. I said, don't feel stupid. Here's when you're away from here and you realize who Rufus is and you, re you remember you asked me that. You're going to feel bad. Don't. That's you just great. didn't know. You just didn't know. You'll learn. Don't worry. Yeah, for yeah, Rufus, is, Rufus is fine with body and soul. 